We've helped Grant a ton throughout his journey building up his glasses wiper and nozzle enterprise. He's doing algebra all the time now to solve problems he encounters in his business, and he knows how to do all of it because of us. He's been so successful that he was able to afford a new office, and he's trying to decorate his new place with art that reflects his products. Although he has different sculptures and paintings and other masterpieces strewn throughout his new space, one of the things he's most excited about is this fountain that looks like a giant wiper nozzle. He thinks he's worked out an equation for the trajectory of the water coming out of the fountain and then going up, falling down on the ground. However, he wants us to check that equation for him. Let's help him see if it's right. Just like we had with Grant's slingshot a few lessons ago, let's set up a coordinate plane so that the fountain is positioned at the origin, just like this. Now I realize that the fountain is not as small as a single point on the coordinate plane, but for the purpose of this question, let's just pretend like the entire thing is located exactly at the origin. From this position at the origin, the water is going to shoot up out of the fountain and then fall and end up slightly over to the right. Here's the equation that Grant came up with. y equals negative 7x squared plus 14x minus 10. In this equation, x stands for the horizontal position of the water at a given moment, and y stands for the corresponding vertical position of that same drop of water. So every drop of water in this fountain should follow about this equation. Remember, this is just an approximation. We're sort of idealizing the situation, so just go with it. Now, if Grant is right, then one of the roots of this equation should be where the fountain is located, at zero. And the other should tell us where the water lands over here. In other words, if we solve the quadratic equation that goes along with this equation for our parabola, then we should get those two solutions, those two roots. Let's use the quadratic formula to see if Grant is right. For now, I'd just like you to simplify the parts of the formula that belong in each of these boxes. Just put a number in each spot. 